Hello! So I'm from New York, and in the last few years, the city's been doing this thing called Fashion Night Out. So it's really got me thinking about my particular style. It's also got me looking at different dudes to see what kind of clothes they're wearing. And for the most part, I'm not impressed. So this video is going to be on things to keep in mind when buying clothes. Now the first thing to keep in mind is your body type. Whether you're tall, short, wide or skinny, you need to understand what clothes suit you right and how to tailor them so that you look appropriate. So the first thing is about fit. So when it comes to buying clothes, you don't want to have any extra material lying around. It tends to look a little sloppy, so you want to be as tailored as possible. With this in mind, you also have to know that not every brand is meant for everyone. Every brand has its own particular cuts and these are things you should be aware of. So the first thing I'll go over are t-shirts. I think most people know how to wear a t-shirt so I won't go into great detail. If you can see ripples in your shirt, your shirt too small. If you can use your shirt to fly away, that dang too big. The next thing that's really important are the pants. As far as the fit goes, you don't want extra material hanging from the bottom of your leg. These pants are too big! See, these pants fit right. No extra material, not going down past my foot. That's good. That's great. With me, I'm really into denim. So I like to keep things really simple. I prefer for my washes to come from actual wear, not from something that's been produced by a company. You don't always have to spend a lot of money to get good jeans. Keep things really basic with a dark blue, a light blue, and a black pair of pants. You can't go wrong. When it comes to button down shirts, keep in mind things like the cuff. You don't want your cuff to come past your hand too much. If your cuff can go over your hand, your shirt is too big. As far as like button down patterns go, I like to keep a solid. It's, it's easier to wear and I don't have to worry about clashing with any other different kinds of color tones. The next thing to keep in mind are color tones. Not every color is going to look good on your skin tone and that's something that you should just be aware of. You might really love a particular color but there might be chances that it doesn't look good on you. The last thing that I'm going to mention are shoes. Most of the guys I know only have a few pairs of shoes so you want to pick a simple cut that can go with many different outfits. Stay away from shoes that have too many colors on them. For me I like to go with the Nike SB Air Costin 1. I go with the simple black and gray colorway with a white sole for a little bit of cleanliness. There's a little blue on the bottom for a little splash of color. Nike also did a really cool thing of adding uh, their Lunar Lawn sole to the bottom, which makes them really comfortable. This is my everyday shoe. Woo! Yeah, so those are just some of the things that I like to keep in mind whenever I'm getting ready for the day. Um, I like to keep it basic, nothing too crazy. I mean, if you want to throw in like a special piece that has like a pattern in it or something, that's, you know, up to your discretion. So this Thursday, September 6th, on Fashion Night Out, I'm going to be touring the city, hitting up a few different stores, but my one main stop is going to be at the New Era store in New York. I'll be there with a good friend of mine who has her work on display at the event, so you should come by and say hello. Of course, the easiest ways to get in touch with me are through my Facebook, my Twitter, or my Instagram. And while you're at it, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button, the little like button, and leave a comment down below. Alright, so I have a thesis to go ahead and work on, so I'll see you guys later. Say bye, Remy.